Hey everyone, uh, should be should be able to hear me now. I uh, had a little bit of technical problems, but we're gonna go through how to set up a Python Facebook bot. Um, kind of why you would do it the way that I have it set up, some basic project structure, um, what you should use, what you shouldn't use, um, and we'll go over a little bit of intro code. So without further ado, let's uh, turn my screen around and take a little dive into the code. Should be good, okay. So here is the repository, which I'll make it public before um, this video goes out. But you want to come find this simple Flask server setup. And this is going to have everything you need to get started. So it's got a server file um, that just gets you up and running. We're using Blueprint to separate um, some of our code. But um, you want to do it this way uh, just for cleanliness purposes. We'll come over here to my project, which I have this hacking news Facebook bot. I'm gonna finish building. So in our server, we have um, just some basic level imports, and then we register Blueprint, which lets us have this route file over here with uh, our API request in there. Um, and then we just have a basic like hello world response, um, and then we're setting our app up for debug mode with port 5000. Uh, you could change this to three if you wanted. I just typically run it on five. So let's talk a little bit about the structure of this project right now. And then we'll talk about uh, each individual piece. So the, the structure of the project right now is one server file. Uh, we're sending most of our requests over to the routes folder. Have a simple hello world echo coming back. And then we're setting up to run in debug mode. You can see from routes import everything. So over here in routes, I've an init file that this sets up um, everything for you. So from Flask import blueprint, and then our routes is defined as blueprint routes. And then we have an auth file and a respond file. The auth file, um, we have a variety of different imports, just copy and paste these and go with it. Um, you can see from here, we're importing everything in routes. We have a verified token that I set in Facebook, and then you use this routes um, instead of app. We're getting from auth, uh, we're gonna handle the verification. We check the arguments to see if a verified token is equal to our verified token here. And if it is, we return the challenge, else we return uh, invalid verifica verification token. Oops, don't save. And then here's our response. Um, have a variety of different imports again, verify token, access token, both uh, provided by Facebook or we set in Facebook. Down here we have an auth post request where we handle incoming messages. We just cleaned up the variables here. Um, data is request.json. And then we define our sender by using this data variable, um, just getting the first that comes in, uh, their ID. And then right here we're getting the message and then we're replying with this function we wrote up here. We're passing in the user ID and the message. And we define data as the recipient, user ID here, message as message. Here we have a URL that Facebook gives you. It's a post, post request URL where you pass in your access token. And I did that with uh, Python's dot format. So you can pass in a variable here. And if you had two of these little purple brackets, you just put like maybe domain there. And it'll do uh, it'll do this is the first one, uh, say for example, like this. So this would eventually get passed in access token, and this one would get passed in domain now. So they're one, two. Um, clean that up. I think this said me, right? Yep. So back to the way it was. And then we send a post request containing this URL and set it uh, JSON data. Pretty simple. And we print the contents. Um, so that should be pretty much it for how to get up and running with just a super simple bot. Um, you can add a lot of logic in here as well, but um, just to get started, I would do it this way. So now that we've covered that, let's talk about my get ignore. I'd always suggest setting one of these up, just dot get ignore. It'll ignore files in your project that you don't want to store on GitHub. So in here I have uh, 
ignore everything. This wildcard.pyc uh, just means ignore all the compiled um, Python files that are temporary in the repo. And then I did exclude my PEM file. I don't want my PEM to get up on uh, GitHub. And I have a connect file in here, um, right here, just so I can run. I'll show you. Let's do this. Change. What is Python? So now I can just write bash connect and it will pop me into my, my server. It's a little trick. Um, yeah, so I, I would suggest using a connect file and then put your pen file in here as well and then uh, just exclude it on your GitHub. Yeah, so then next thing we should talk about is how to test or how to really get started with Facebook uh, Messenger bots. So I should be able to run python server.py. That'll turn it on for us. Yep, okay. And then you can see over here, I have ngrok, and you might wonder what ngrok is. So let's look that up. So ngrok just does HTTPS from your local machine. Facebook won't let you develop um, on their platform without being secure. So basically all you do is you come in and you download it. It'll go into your downloads, you double click it, move it over your applications, and then you do See if I can redo it. Yeah. So you just do this. Um, since we have port 5000 on the Flask app in our server right here, you just set 5000. There you go. Here's your link. We get this link. And you, you know what backslash or what URL to put because of the routes file. So we need auth on the end of this. We'll go over to the Facebook platform. Um, here's the page that you get. If you haven't done this before, come up here, you add a new app. Um, let's say this is video app. Just make it pretty simple. And you probably fail this thing like three times because they're really hard. Uh, there we go. So you get through. And we come down to Messenger, set up. Then we're gonna select a page. So you'll have made a Facebook page. Um, so like do bot would work, for example. So we get the page access token and that's where you come in here. Um, and it's in respond. You would just replace this one right there. Come on. And then after you've done that, you're going to set up webhooks. And this is where you'll put your ngrok link backslash off. And then you'll set a verify token. So mine is camera kills. And I'll just select pretty much everything messaging related. Um, you don't have to do this, but just for convenience sake, grab it all. And we'll verify and save. And there you go. So pretty much that easy, um, we're set up. And I think if I say hi to this, it will respond. Unauthenticated. Come on. It'll respond in a minute. It, sometimes ngrok is pretty slow, um, but we'll see. Oh, it's not actually running. It's one problem. What is the? There we go. Give that a second. Um, so other things you should know before you get started, you should use Docker when you're developing a chatbot because you can just grab this right here um, and it'll build for you automatically. You might ask why you would want to use Docker. Um, Docker will manage if your app dies. So for whatever reason, um, it'll manage it and turn it back on. 
So you definitely want to use Docker. Um, get a Docker Hub account, it's free. You come in here and you hit create, then you create automated build, hook it up to your GitHub, and you pick one of these. So like, uh, I don't know, I have an Expedia bot that I built. And we'll say this is a sample chat bot for a video. We create. And now whenever you push to this repo, um, it's like, let's say we're over here and let's close this, get status. So we've got some changes and I push them. This is a sample kit. Then we come in here and we look at my repo. I just pushed to Hacker News. You can see right here that this is already building. And as soon as that builds, we can, oops, you grab this, it says Docker pull. So now we're gonna bash connect to my instance again. And then we just do that. And it's it's up to date right now, but if you didn't have the container up on your server on Amazon or uh, even Google Cloud, you would just paste in and it would pull it down for you. And then you do Docker run dash D dash P 5000 5000 exactly like this. And yeah. So you might ask why you would want to do it that way. Um, Using Docker Hub lets you kind of automate a lot of the maintenance of getting your code up onto the instance, um, how you would do that. Uh, it's just more convenient, to be honest with you. If you could get clone, you could do it that way, but I wouldn't really suggest it. I would suggest uh, going with Docker Hub and just staying on the free tier. Then I guess the last thing we should talk about is like what the next steps in this project are going to be. Um, so later today, I'm going to sit down and write the actual Hacker News part. Um, we probably should do this, like from Hacker News, import everything, and then from Stories, import everything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the Hacker News API. Hacker News API, which they have with Firebase. Um, So you just come in here and make a request at the next uh, variable in this number column, this right before the stop JSON. And you return all this information. So this was written by Drew Houston about his YC app. Um, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grab the most popular um, stories of the last 24 hours, Storm in a Mongo database. Why Mongo? It's just super simple. Um, I would never use it for true production project, but um, for something fun and easy like this, it's a pretty good, pretty good use case. Um, and then on the story side, we're going to load in, or I'm sorry, we're going to pull out the loaded in stories and uh, paste them into our reply object so that users of the bot can get the most uh, up-to-date stories. Um, so with that being said, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'll include the link to this repo to get you started. Um, and hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, more than happy to help. And thank you.